Hey guys, it's Jana, and today we're gonna strip our towels. Have you heard of this? Stripping your fabric things, like you could do it with your sheets and towels and your clothes even, like your workout clothes. I've been wanting to try to do this for a very long time. If you've heard of it, cool. If you haven't, cool. Keep watching, you'll hear about it, because this is actually pretty interesting. I've seen a few videos about it. The water ends up super disgusting, and your towels or whatever you're stripping ends up super nice. So, this is probably like my crunchiest towel. Like, you know when they get crunchy and gross? Yeah, that's what I have. It's crunchy and gross. Ew. So I'm really excited to see how this water comes out because these are clean. These are clean towels. They have not been used. They've been sitting on the shelf. That's what it's called. They've been shitting, shitting on the shelf. They've been sitting on the shelf and uh, they're clean, but crunchy. So, also, I learned from you guys, since I was new to fabric softener, not to use it on my towels. So, if you didn't know that, don't use fabric softener on your towels. It makes them less absorbent, apparently. So, anyway, I'm really excited to give this a try. So, we're doing a little experiment today. So, go ahead and hit subscribe, thumbs up, check all the links down below. Let's strip our towels today. There were tons of recipes to do this online, and I just chose the one that I actually had everything for because I ain't going to store. Anyway, so I got my borax here. Yes, it is in a baggie because the box disintegrated. So it's in a bag, and we need baking soda and laundry detergent. So we're going to do one part borax, one part baking soda, and two parts of the detergent. So I got measuring cups and a wooden spoon because this water is going to get hot. We want to start off with hot, hot, hot water. So we're going to turn it as hot as we can and get this tub filled up. That's hot. I have a one third cup and a two thirds cup. So one part borax. One part baking soda. Should have gotten this open first. And two parts laundry detergent. I'm gonna mix this up with a wooden spoon because this water is super duper hot. Like I'm a little witch and her cauldron. And now we're gonna dump our towels in. This is like my hair towel. Ew. It's all yellowed and gross. Please get clean. And yes, they're all blue except for the one white one. <laughs> get them down in there. Water. Get clean. I'm gonna add some more water. So we're gonna let these soak for two hours. It's like a total of four hours, but two hours, we're gonna stir it up and see how much grime is already coming out. I hope this works. So this is before. It's been two hours, my timer went off, so let's see how we did. Not as dirty as I thought it was gonna be. Let's see what happens if I squish it around a little bit. The water's still kind of warm. We're supposed to leave this for two more hours, so we'll see what happens, but I thought there would be more yuck in there. Hmm. Oh well, we'll see what happens in two hours. So it's been another two hours, so a total of four, and this is what we're left with. It's not, it's not as dirty and gross as I, was anticipating. I've seen videos where it's like so nasty. But, uh, oh well. So we gotta get all these out and thrown in the washer for a rinse cycle. And then we'll dry them and see if they're fluffy. 
So I just grabbed a trash bag because I don't have like a plastic hamper or anything. Or a tote maybe would work. So we're just gonna do plastic bags to get them transported to the laundry room. I guess on the bright side, I don't have to scrub my tub. Okay, so no detergent necessary. And then we're gonna figure out just a rinse or something according to the direction. Speed wash, maybe? Drain and spin. Hot water. of truth. Did they get softer? I am not that hopeful to be honest just because the water was not gross like all the videos that I've seen. So let's look in the dryer. I guess they're a little softer. Yeah I gotta be honest here I'm a little disappointed. I mean I guess they're, it's better. Let me see if I could tell the difference between any of them because there was that one that was a little extra crunchy. I don't know how it got used more. So let me pull them all out and we'll touch them all. <sighs> I guess, I don't know how to tell. So that's weird. I <laughs> was not expecting that. You're supposed to take the dirt out, not the color. feel really good but yeah it looks like they're like all got bleached or something but they do feel a lot better for sure my hair thing is whiter so that's good still a little dingy though that's really disappointing so that's that pretty disappointing guys um it didn't work like magic, like the internet said. Imagine that. So, sorry for wasting your time. <laughs> That's four hours I won't get back of my life. I guess five, almost six now with the <laughs> running the washer and dryer. Um, I do have to tell you that I am trying to be more me and uh, I'm a little bit more goofy than I usually am in my videos in real life so um to be honest i wouldn't have posted this video before because it, it's a fail i think it's a fail i mean the, the hand towels feel better which i guess are the most used towels so that's good i mean they feel better they do but not as good as i thought they would you know what i mean it's 
not like they're new or anything. But anyway, I'll, I'll give it, I'll give it a, a six out of 10. Does that sound good? That's fair. <laughs> and then I don't know what's up with the little bit of bleaching or something. I'm assuming that would be the borax. I don't know. Anyway, I'm tired. And now I get to edit this video for you guys. So let me get to that. But even though this didn't work out exactly how we thought it would, it's all right. Thanks for watching anyway. <laughs> uh, go ahead and hit subscribe, thumbs up. Check all the links down below. Be sure to check out those videos over there I picked out just for you. And I will see you next time. <laughs>